Welcome to another episode of How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the installation of the Lund High Profile Bug and Stone Guard. I will be installing it on my 2019 All Star Silverado. So here it is right here. Um, they do make another type that's an actual stick on type uh, with a 3M double stick tape. I don't like those types because I keep my vehicles uh, quite a long time and um, I used to have a 1989 Pontiac Firebird and I uh, used to use the the front end bra quite a bit and I had left it on a little too long one week um, during the rainy season and uh, moisture got underneath it and uh, damaged the clear coat so I prefer off the hood type uh, style uh, bug deflectors so let's go ahead and get this hood opened up and um, we'll start the installation process Okay, on the inside of the hood, there is a uh, rubber weather strip that needs to come out. I have to make one correction. It's not the Lund bug guard, it's the EGR bug guard. Sorry about that. Now, and on with the installation. You need to remove this weather strip, and in order to do that, just uh, pull back on one of the pins, the push pins, and then just uh, go along the whole, uh, the whole weather strip. Here's a weather strip removed. There is uh, 11 push pins. Now and on to the installation. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put the hood protector in place. And you're going to mark four marks with a marker where each of these mounting brackets will be. And then you're going to make a mark on both ends. This is where um, some clear protective tape is going to go. So what you're going to do is take the alcohol prep pad, just wipe right there, and the same thing on the other side. And then what you're going to do is to fold this right over the edge. And do the same thing on the other side. Now go ahead and remove the bug guard. So it comes with two clips that attach over those two pieces of tape that you put at both ends. And there are some rubber washers that you stick on to the uh, outside of the clip. So now there are these little white clips that go in each of those four holes. They just push right in. Come to find out, I didn't have to remove the entire weather strip, just the four pins where these uh, new white clips are gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the hood protector on. Make sure that these are underneath the weather stripping. So once the bug guard is in place, make sure that uh, uh, those white push pins that you installed in the hood that uh, they run parallel with the slot that's in the hood protector. And just put that there. Feed the screw through the rubber seal. And, and put the washer and the screw into the white, into the white uh, mounting push pin. Just don't tighten it all the way. Uh, do the the four on the hood. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I have all four screws in there. The weather stripping is sitting on top of uh, the bug guard. The white clips that they give you run horizontally to the slots that are in the bug guard. That way it'll sit really flush to the underside of the, the hood. Now for the two end clips. After you get the bug guard installed, be sure to tighten all the screws. Just do them hand tight. Damn flies. Um, you don't want to over tighten them because uh, you end up breaking the clips. And now for the closing test. Perfect. Well, that's a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson. This one was the installation of the EGR high-profile bug and stone deflector. And if I do say so myself, I think it looks pretty sweet. If you like this video, hit like, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day, and um, stay chip-free. Quiet on the set. A lot of flies. <laughs> Damn it. Damn, fucking flies, man. These flies are bugging the hell out of me today. I have to make a correction. Um, it's not the Lund bug. The, uh, uh, uh. Now for the closing test. One more time, that fly got right in my face.